an odd bird. Um, just kept hearing these birds and I didn't know what they were. And so I started listening to tapes with birds, songs and things, trying to figure out what they were. And, you know, and then my husband was unemployed for a while and we went to Ridgefield and took pictures of ducks. And so we kind of started with ducks. And um, I don't know, it just, it's really interesting. I really uh, like knowing what I'm hearing around me. And so we've been doing it for a number of years. I wanted to be a civil engineer and you had to take chemistry and they had this retired lieutenant colonel from the Marine Corps, but I forget his name, but he used to shout at the students and everything and berate them. Uh, it's typical Marine Corps action. And I just wasn't cut out for that. I thought of that civil engineering, I don't want any part of it. And they had a brand new course called data processing and I got into it and I've been doing it ever since. Well, in three weeks we're going to, um, to Canada, to Salt Spring Island, and it's very, very hilly. So we're trying to ride two or three times a week to get in condition for that ride. I love traveling. Um, yeah, all the different places in the world to see. So far, I think my favorite place has been Japan. Nah, Greece, between the two. Um, Greece, because it's just beautiful. I love it. Um, the sunsets, I was on the island though. Um, of Crete for two years I lived there and it's just the sunsets is gorgeous I love the food that was amazing I got really big and then Japan I like it because the people are amazing they're just really kind and gentle and it just feels like one great big family if I could know one thing about a stranger I would want to know how they feel about death because death is something we ignore in this culture. There's not really even a ceremony that makes us feel good. Like, funerals are okay. I've been to many. I've personally died and come back to life. Um, my mom has also done the same. And I think because we ignore it, it eliminates a whole half of life, which is we are living, but we're also on our way to dying. I worked for Portland Public Schools. I was a paraeducator. I worked with kids with special needs. Well, originally I was going to be a teacher, and then I decided not to do that. And then when I, my kids were a little older and I was looking for a job, I decided to sub and try that, and it turned out I enjoyed it. You know, some, some people think that uh, I am... never tried it, so I don't know. I think it's just because I have really big hair, I, and that's like a hippie sign, and so people think that I must be into things related to that. Um, I think what's really interesting about how we all have our own consciousness is that although on the exterior we're really different, I think that below all the masks we wear, we're all the same unsure person and we're all acting and until you embrace the fact that you're acting um, it, it, it's shallow we don't see each other behind those masks but is that a, a bad thing i think the intersecting of people in random situations is exciting for almost all of us but that's coming from an extrovert